Hey Bruins, this is Josh Lemer with your Daily Bruin Television Sports Minute. Starting off, the UCLA men's basketball team hasn't been doing too well lately. Things seem to be turning around on Thursday when they defeated Pac-10 leader Washington, but on Saturday versus Washington State, things went south fast. Let's take a look. The Bruins were down five with two minutes left, but this could be their chance. After the steal, Josh Ship tries to get the easy layup. It bounces around and no good. Cougars get it back and get it to Taylor Rochester, who was on fire. He shoots the three and, oh, dagger. But the Bruins aren't done yet. Final minute, Nikola Dragovic with the clutch triple. Bruins down one. Three seconds left. Nikola Koprivica misses the free throw on purpose. Josh Ship heaves up a prayer and no good. Cougars win, 82-81. Ouch, Washington State wins for just the second time ever at Poly Pavilion in 52 meetings. The Bruins have lost three of four. They fall to 22nd in the AP rankings, and they'll try to regain their composure Thursday as they visit Stanford. Some other Bruin teams are struggling as well. The men's baseball team fell to UC Riverside 11-1 on Wednesday. Yikes. They've lost three in a row after winning their first two games of the season. Men's volleyball has also lost three in a row, getting swept by Long Beach State on Wednesday to put them at a 7-9 overall record. But hey, the Bruin women seem to be doing all right. The third-ranked softball team has won nine in a row, the latest being a victory against Cal State Fullerton 6-2 on Wednesday. They're 14-2 overall and lead the nation in home runs. Meanwhile, the women's golf team is ranked number one in the country. They won the Wildcat Invitational this week for their fifth win in six events. Upcoming home games you can check out this week. Women's basketball faces a brutal schedule, third-ranked Stanford on Friday and fourth-ranked Cal on Sunday, while tennis takes on Stanford and baseball tries to regain momentum against Pepperdine on Tuesday at Jackie Robinson Stadium. Now for an update on some Bruin alumni at the pro level. Everyone's favorite Bruin running back Maurice Jones-Drew of the Jacksonville Jaguars is looking at a starting role and increased minutes next season. The Jags have released veteran running back Fred Taylor, who Jones-Drew had been sharing carries with for his entire three-year career, and are now working on a contract extension for the 5'7 Jones-Drew. In baseball, spring training has started, and second baseman Chase Utley of the world champion Philadelphia Phillies has stated that despite off-season hip surgery, he is ahead of schedule and will be ready for their opening day on April 5th. Meanwhile, the NBA trade deadline has come and passed, and despite the rumors floating about, point guard Baron Davis will remain in a Los Angeles Clippers uniform for the rest of the year. Unfortunately for him. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. Be sure to check out dailybruin.com slash dbtv for all your Bruin sports needs. I'm Josh Lemer. Thanks for watching.